In this video, I'll make a black and white border around a colour image. Now, the, I got the idea of a, a plug-in from uh, a lot of recent image from the GIMP website. So I'll have a description down below on where you can download this, that plug-in. But this one's a, a very basic one. And also there's a hard copy on the, on the link down below as well. So first we've got our image loaded. Now we, we need to put in some guides. So we go into uh, image, guides, and guides by percentage. And the first one is the horizontal. We click OK. We go back to image again. And we go to guides. And by percentages, this time I pull down the arrow and put in my vertical. And click OK. That gives me the center point. I go to my rectangular selection tool. And I expand from the center. I click that little radio box there. I put my cursor in the center and drag out and make a reasonably image around the edge, around your image. Make it nice and even. Now this made a nice selection. I go to edit and I copy that to the clipboard. I return to edit and I paste it back in. Now it's got a floating selected pasted layer, make it a complete layer by clicking that icon button there. Now I don't need the uh, the guides now, I click on the image, guides and remove all guides. I right click the top layer and alpha to selection, that selects the outside of that pasted layer. I use the double ended arrow to swing my colour to white, I go to edit and I stroke that selection. Now I need it, that's the six pixels, it's a bit small for this image, so I click it up to about, about 12, I do, I think, and click OK and stroke it. I go to select now and turn that selection off, select none. Now I click the bottom layer, I go to colours, and I desaturate. Click OK. Return to colours and go to levels and bring that darkness up a little for the left left hand slide here. Bring it up, just watch the image and you'll see it getting darker. That's about right. And click OK. You can see now you've got the, the border around there as black and white. I right click the top layer and then flatten that image. And that's our job done. You can see there it, it won't work with all types of images but this one's okay. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, rate the video.